Now that we've seen these growth paths a few times with an increase in technology and savings rates on the last two videos that are here on my channel and in your class, we're going to look at one more, and that's going to be if we see an increase in the growth rate. So if we see increase in the growth rate at time period t equals zero. So again, remember, we're going to look at time. This is going to be a time series model, and we're going to be looking at that level of output per worker and capital per worker. How does that change over time? How does it grow over time? That's what we mean by a growth path. So we have an arbitrary t equals zero right here. And this is going to give us a point where beforehand we see a steady state for both our level of capital. So we'll have a K star and we'll have a Y star before this happens. What do we know? Remember from our video talking about the growth rate, an increase in N is going to lead to our capital declining. And if our capital declines, we know that my output's going to decline, right? There's a lot of stuff that goes on here in the middle. The idea that the growth rate goes up, which means that my savings are not enough to uh, replenish the amount of capital that's gonna be needed for these new individuals. And so we're gonna see K start to converge downward. But for this video, we care about what happens, right? We know that K is gonna go down. So let's call this K prime. K star prime. So we know at some point over here, right at some point, we're going to get to a new steady state. And of course, lower K means that we're going to see again, oops, this would be Y star prime. A lower K means we're going to see at some point our lower level of output per worker. So we know, um, again, what happens, there's going to be convergence. There's not a direct change in K. So that's just going to converge downward until we get here. That's a curved line. and it looks a little straight, but that's curved. And again, we always look at, okay, we know Y is equal to A times F of K. Notice that N is not in this function, right? Only K is in, only K and A are in that function. So if there's not a direct change to either capital or or our technology, we're not going to see that amplification effect, right? So we don't see it. The only thing that's pulling Y down, right? The only thing that's pulling Y down is this converging of K. So that just means we're going to see a converging of Y as well. And we get this looking like our growth path for an increase in the population growth rate.